Is it on? Welcome to your new favorite band, the podcast brought to you by the LA Navy. And now, your hosts, Dallas Dwight and Drizzle Silvera. Hello, 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 and welcome back to your new favorite band, the podcast brought to you by the LA Maybe. You just heard it from our lovely voiceover artist himself. I am Dallas Dwight. With me, as always, Drizzle Silvera. What's up, everybody? I'm Drizzle. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> Bet you guys didn't know he could do that, huh? I didn't even know I could do that till like five seconds ago. You I know? know. It's pretty impressive. Just, yeah. just going for it. I got the Batman. I'm the bitch rock. Welcome to the, like to the Batman bitch. Donald Duck podcast. Yeah. That's Donald Duck, right? Yeah, that's Donald Duck. I can't. I, I always get Donald and Daffy mixed up. Yeah, Daffy. Daffy. Kinda, He's the one that has all the tongue. Blah, 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 exactly. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Yep. And that's my impersonation, and that's awesome. So we have a lot to go through today. We got a lot. Uh, we're going to be talking about our boys in um, Seven Year Witch a lot. They're our new favorite band for the week. Uh, we had a good time. We were touring with them this past weekend. And we've uh, since we last sat down and recorded an episode, we are we ourselves have played two full weekends of shows. Yeah, Traveling and about all across. two thousand. No, yeah. more than two thousand miles yeah. of driving. Three thousand miles. Yeah, yeah, we've been we've been all over the place, and uh, we have a lot to talk about it. So, or a lot to talk about. So, let's dive into it, shall we? Yes, we shall. Why don't we start with the miraculous story of us getting our van? Yes. One day before we had to leave, right? Yes. So we needed a van, and. Um, we were lucky enough to find the perfect one and lock down the deal the day before we left. And it was, uh, it was really awesome. <laughs> it ended up being, or is a really nice van too. Yeah. 16 passenger Ford, Ford E 3,500, right? Uh, 350. Yeah. 3,500. Three, yeah, or 350. Yeah. E 350. And this thing is V8. so big. You can yeah. actually like, so we always have two people up front. Four eyes on the road is better than two. And um, two eyes on the driver is better than zero. <laughs> yes, true. Right. So anyways, uh, and then the other three members in the band can lay out in the back and, and then sleep. Right. So everybody gets a bunk to themselves and we have a spare bunk for our road manager. Yes. Which currently is empty. <laughs> currently. Yeah. But, you know, we'll, we'll, that might be filled, you know, soonish. Maybe not. We'll see. We're road managing ourselves right now, but yeah, it's so man. It makes the travel way easier. We can cover <clears throat> much longer distances uh, and much crazier time frames than we could without it, for sure. Yeah, definitely. Just the be- availability of being able to sleep through the night on the way to the next place and take shifts driving. Right, exactly. You know, let's uh, let's go through the gigs from the top, shall we? Let's get at it. Up first, Huntsville, Alabama. We played Sidetracks Music Hall. That was a blast, man. Yeah, that was a really cool place. First of all, we roll in and it is legitimately right by the tracks and I hear train whistles and I can smell the tar off of the the railroad ties Mm and I'm just instantly somewhat in heaven. No, I'm in heaven. I'm not. Yeah, yeah. fully torqued. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) It was a cool place, man. It's interesting. I didn't put together that that's why it was called sidetracks, but it makes sense. Yeah. And I kept getting sidetracked by the tracks. Right. Sidetracked by the sidetracks that were sidetracked. Yeah. Right. Understood. Really cool venue. Uh, really great staff took great care of us. Unfortunately, it was uh, it was a weird a weird day for the for attendance because um, some like record winter storm was coming through Alabama and uh, northern Alabama. Like you, Alabama doesn't get cold weather. Like yeah, on, not like you know? that. Yeah, no. it was like it was just like a straight up blizzard. It was crazy. Yeah. Them, so you know, so we we arrive and it's like really nice out when we get there, right? It was pretty decently nice. Yeah, like, like it was 70, 65, yeah. 70. Something like that. And it's like, yeah, it's going to be snowing in a few hours. Sun goes down. It's supposed to start snowing. And we're all like, there's 10. no way. Yeah, right. There's no way. It's so nice right here. We're loading in. There's, you know, nothing in the sky. You know, what could go wrong? Yeah. <laughs> well. Well, uh, here's what could go wrong. <laughs> so what, we kept hearing reports of people like just running to the grocery store to buy everything up. Like people weren't coming to venues. Yeah, like people news, that were supposed to come were, yeah. were going out and buying all, you know. Well, the news was literally saying like stay at home. Yeah. Shelter in place, you know, blizzard is coming. Yeah. So that's not great when you're rolling into town like, hello, <laughs> come Dude, see our show. What a cool sound guy, though. I forget his name. He was really uh, that cool. Was Matt. Matt. Yeah, that's right. I, I got to remember it like mnemonic devices. No arms, no legs at the front door. Matt. <laughs> right. So <laughs> sorry, Matt, if you ever listen to this. Matt uh, has both arms and both legs for the yeah. record. And, uh, and, yeah. was, and was a cool guy to boot. Not only did he have all his limbs. He was also a cool guy. He was also really cool. Yeah, really, really nice for sure. Yeah, 
and uh, a really nice sound guy. And their stage was was really big. Great. Yeah. It was open, clean, um, and plenty yeah, of power just, everywhere. This is always a plus. Yeah, right. I hate when you play a big stage and there's like one outlet, and you're like, "How is this? How's it? Now, now there's cables going everywhere. Now I'm gonna trip. It defeats the purpose of the big stage." <laughs> Right, you could easily hang yourself on like a thousand different points. Yeah, right. I know exactly. What yeah, you're yeah. Well, so, you know for sure. Yeah, of yeah. course. But yeah, no, it was really nice. The green room there was 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 like really big size, yeah, nice. and uh, you know, for a venue that probably what holds two hundred fifty people if it's packed, you know, so it's probably more than that. More, yeah, maybe three if it's packed. Three, you know, three to five. Yeah, I wouldn't say five, but maybe. I mean, That's maybe a pretty I'm big wrong. room. It was just a big rectangle. I think Amos is Amos is a smaller and it and it has the upper deck, but it holds only it holds like seven fifty. The new one does. Yeah, yeah, it's true. So, um, yeah, and the sound was good in there, and and really just everyone was easy to work with, and it was a fun time. They loved us, you know, even though there weren't a ton of people there because right. of the conditions. All the people there that did <laughs> exactly. As soon as we finished, they all come come rushing the stage. They're like, "Man, we're so sorry. The weather, like, you guys are great. The weather, the weather." Everybody just kept saying the weather. Yeah, we're like, right. Oh, I guess I don't know. Like, it seemed fine when we showed up, and then we walk outside. And it's sleeting. Yeah, it's <laughs> sleeting as we're loading out. Yes. It's like, oh shit, and we're just like, let's hurry, because <laughs> we're going immediately south. Uh, to Mississippi, but we didn't want to get caught in that storm. So we were escaping it, but we had to get on the road pretty quickly. Yeah, right? Uh, especially, as I think, as we were leaving, the temperature wasn't quite down to, to 32. No, but it was so cold the road, it was in the 40s yeah. for sure. Yeah, the road hadn't iced over yet, but uh, it did get cold enough that night for snow to stick. Yep. Um, fortunately, a lot of us weren't able to to see that because we were passed out in our wonderful new accommodations. Yes, we were um, uh, on the road down. So we heard a lot it. about how bad it was snowing. <laughs> yes. According you, to you some, and I were both sleeping. According to some, right? it was really bad. And according to others, it was, yeah, yeah. You and I were both, uh, I passed out hard. Yeah. Um, cause I, I think I was supposed to be driving in a few hours or whatever, yeah. you know? Yeah. So, uh, finish when you know, you're, when you know you have the second shift of driving, you got to like prioritize that sleep, you know? Right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah no Coke, no monster, no Celsius right. before you pass out, yeah. you know, but, um, <sighs> get that sleep, which it's, it's hard, man. It's hard to get good sleep for me in the van. It's not good sleep, but it's sleep. And yeah. <laughs> when you, when you get to where you're going, if you get there early enough, you can yeah. actually get some sleep, sleep yeah. not moving. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, but you got to take it where you can get it. So uh, we well, that brings us to gig number two. We drove all through the night, sucker punch reference. Yes, and made it to uh, Mississippi, where we, where we were uh, so excited. Our agent Kevin is from Mississippi, and, and we stayed with him. So we got to meet him in person for the first time because it's all been you know email, communique, and stuff. Yeah, and text and phone and all this stuff. So we got to hang out with him. Yeah, for like a, like a whole weekend, pretty much. We ended up staying with him two nights. So. We had a we had a great time. We got there what I don't know seven a.m. Yeah, seven a.m. And, and gates you, were open. He's like, "Come on in." You think Pull, uh, guiding us in? Yeah, you'd think we'd crash immediately, but we stayed up talking for probably an hour. Hour. I and crashed half. pretty immediately. Yes. Yes, I we, blew up my air mattress. First. I blew up my air mattress, and I was like, yeah. <laughs> "We'll get but back we, to the still, air mattress." Still, we talked <laughs> for like an hour before you left. I think because it was like yeah, eight. yeah. I think I'd been there for about an hour. Yeah. yeah. So we all just sat around talking, and then we all crashed, slept most of the day. And then uh, got up and played the juke joint in Ocean Springs. Yeah, that was, uh, that was pretty Highlight epic. of the weekend, man. Yeah. But before we get to the juke joint, there was this uh, crazy thing that happened. Uh, so I, I blew up my air mattress. I'm in the room. You know, uh, Goliath was sleeping in that room as well on a bed. On the pink bed. On the pink bed, yes. Which we should have gotten a picture of and we didn't. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, right? Oh, hindsight's twenty twenty. <laughs> so anyways, time. next time. I'm laying in the bed. I pass out. And I wake up because Rasan and Foz are talking in the room. And Rasan's like, oh, I'll, I'll sleep on the air mattress, Daryl. First of all, I brought the air mattress for me. <laughs> <laughs> Second of all, there's a weight limit. So, so anyways, and Rasan, or uh, Gl- uh, Foz is like, well, I'm smaller, so I'll, I'll just sleep on it with him. And so Foz, anyways, by the way, is like 6'2". Yeah, right? He's like, he's like barely taller than me, just a little bit taller than me. And so anyways, um, I like from my slumber just go, Dude, there's like a weight limit on here. It's not going to take two people. And Foz is like, cool, and just gets in the bed. Dude, my mattress will not hold air overnight anymore. Like, it <laughs> deflates. It held air for days. Really? Like, yeah, like it would not deflate. It deflates now I was going to say, to be fair, I've never seen an air mattress that, like, you don't wake up and you're just essentially on the floor. No, this like, one this one was like a $70 air mattress that's really? just like, you know, cream of the crop. Just So anyways, but during... Okay, so he gets in. He pops my air mattress. Yeah. Or at least ruptures it enough for there to be a slow leak. And then... um. 
in the night, or I guess it was morning, um, he reaches over to grab more blanket. <laughs> I heard about this. But he didn't grab blanket. He grabbed a handful of Driz cock and starts pulling like he's trying to pull blanket over himself. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? Like, I ro- like roll over and he fucking goes for it again, trying to like, and he's like sleep, like just kind of like out of it, like trying to get yeah. blanket on himself. Let's, we call that sleep cocking. Yep, sleep cocking. So yeah. I was like, this is my fucking sleeping bag. That's you your goddamn cocked. blanket. Stop grabbing my cock. Yeah, you got, <laughs> <laughs> you got sleep cocked. It happens to the best of us. Rasan came in uh, in my room. I'm in I'm in a bed by myself. I was I was asleep before him. He comes in my room and gets in the bed, but lays the opposite way of me. So I have his feet next to my head. So that was a fun time. Yeah, there was no problems. It was a double bed. We were just out like a light. Yeah, dude, to her life, man. To her life. You yeah. take what you can get where you can get it. <laughs> yeah, to keep you know to keep the peace too. The next night, I was like, yeah, Foz, you can crash with me. Like whatever, you know. Sometimes you get sleep. Cocked. The mattress is already fucked. Just and he, I will say this: the second night was great. He stayed on his side. It was pretty still. I stayed on my side. Yeah. You know, it's a queen size air mattress. So it was oh, uh, awesome. the yeah. second, you know, first night, uh, you know, horrible, horrendous. Uh, second night, great. Uh, it would have been even better if Goliath hadn't been snoring. But, okay, you true. know. And there was no third night. Because, there was no dude, third there's, night. It's weird. Like when you, ca- when you calculate tour sleep, you're like, somehow there's no nights. You well, know? technically it wasn't even the first night at Kevin's house was a night. It was like we was got there the at day. the morning. Yeah. It was sleeping in the day. You which, know, which if you're like me, like you go to sleep at like eight or nine a.m., like you're not sleeping past like noon, one o'clock. Exactly. You know? Yeah, we were it's like you do the math on that. You're like, I only got four hours of sleep. Damn. Like, yeah, son. Yeah, your your internal clock just like you yeah, know, sh- it's, shafts it's just you. Like, dude, what? <laughs> <laughs> so, but anyways, uh, we rolled over to the juke joint. Yes, played a late show at the juke joint. We didn't start till like ten or eleven, I think. Ten thirty. Yeah. yeah. And um, cool place, man. We were we were supposed to be outside on the big nice stage. And uh, unfortunately, the weather again, it was, you know, record, record low temperatures. They hadn't, yeah, they hadn't seen temperatures that low at that time of the year since the 30s. Yeah. Yeah. In like yeah, 1930s. The 20, the 23rd, oh, yeah. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> Projections. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, but they were, uh, you know, if it gets cold uh, for you northern folks listening, you're probably like, what was it like negative 10? No, it was like 30, 40 degrees. Uh, but for southerners, especially down there on the Gulf Coast like that, they don't see those temperatures ever. Yeah, they're like, nope, sorry. Christmas Day is like 75 degrees. Winter's like, coming. <laughs> yeah. So when it gets that low, like life kind of just shuts down. Yep. People aren't used to that. So uh, that is kind of what happened. They brought it, but they knew if we played outside, we wouldn't be playing to anyone because everyone would be inside. Yeah. So we would be sitting there playing our hearts out, looking at everyone inside like, oh. So they made the executive decision to move us to the inside stage, which is about the size of this table. <laughs> and so we were all crammed into this corner and like I couldn't do anything. I almost ate Rasan's base like four times. But what and Rasan and I did not you know knock each other a few times on yeah. stage. But what a place, man. What a special place. It was so fun. Yeah. Um just that old school southern it felt a, a lot of that area felt like Hilton Head to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which, definitely which Hilton Head. One of my Head, favorite places. Savannah. It had Savannah yeah. vibes. I, I got the moss on the I trees. I love Savannah. And, yeah, exactly. Yeah, the moss. Mossy oak trees. Yeah. From uh, Seven Bridges Road. I almost said Seven Nation Road. <laughs> At least you didn't say Chode, you know? Yeah. But, Seven uh, Bridges Chode. Seven Bridges Chode. But uh, yeah, it was, it was such a special environment. It was really cool. Energy. Man. The energy was great in that room. And the third um, set, it was it was rocking. The uh, the whole floor was shaking. Oh yeah, the, the I mean, it felt like the building was gonna just come in on us. Yeah, Kevin was uh, was there. Obviously, our, our agent. He was standing in the back, and he was saying that uh, it, it was uh, it was it was pretty epic. Supposedly, it felt yeah. epic where I was. It so. felt yeah, it felt epic, and and the people were jumping and, and going nuts, and that encore cry yeah, you shout yeah. was <laughs> was epic. Uh, Kevin, they we had two encores. They wouldn't let us go. Yeah. So Kevin uh, said that was the loudest he'd ever heard, a sh- you know, shouts for encore at that that venue. Yeah. So, I mean, they, they wouldn't let us go, and then uh, so we played our one our one last song, and then they would not stop chanting one more song. So we played our first song again, which was Mr. Danger. Yeah. And it was <coughs> it was great. We sold some merch. Um, yeah, it was a cool night. Yeah, we're telling oh. we're telling these stories because we know a lot of our listeners are kind of all over the place. We yeah, have like little pockets of fans around the nation and even around the world. So uh, hopefully you hear these stories and get excited to come see us when when it's your turn. So yeah, and it's also good information too for bands who are going to uh, you know certain areas, right? You know, sure. or or if you want to check out a certain area of the country, you might you know 
I've, oh, I want to go check this place out. Right. You know? And, and th- this was really cool. So our, our booking agent, Kevin, um, he was telling us some of the information about juke joints and what juke joints were like the historical, the historic. Yeah. yeah. So this was a legit juke joint, you know, that'd been around for a while was what he had been saying. Right. Yeah. And, uh, juke joint meaning it was a place where you would go and, and a jukebox would be playing music and it would be like kind of a hang for everybody, you know? Yes. But also a place where blues artists would true would perform because a lot of the blues artists in the deep South, you know, in the, 40s 50s 60s weren't able to play at regular venues for right. obvious reasons and uh so they were able to go to these these famous juke joints throughout the south and uh and and perform for people so that was that was kind of cool like, it's like some some history and stuff in the in the walls you know oh yeah yeah you feel it and the trees man there were there were three or four trees outside this juke joint that had to be like 250 300 years old and when you realize like katrina like hit closer to that area than actual um like new orleans new orleans yeah yeah then you're like oh shoot like these oak trees man those roots go deep those roots go deep they were not they looked a category five hurricane in the face and were like Gets. One of them looked like it was like, yeah. One of them didn't make yeah. it, but the other three were standing strong. I mean, it made it, but like, it was, it was, it was limp. It limped through the other side for sure. <laughs> we we're really, really close on the water. You know, we're down there in Gulfport, Mississippi. We we ate at that uh, that's that local mom and pop uh, sub sub place. Oh amazing. yeah, that was so good. What was it called? I can't um, remember off the top of my head. You're good with like heroes like or something. Was it something about superhero or something? Mm, that's not ringing that a bell. Well. Shout out to the place we can't remember the name of. You guys are great. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> it was really good, and the service was great. The guy that rang us up was like, "Yeah, that's my mom." She was like taking the orders. Like it's like a true family business, you know. Yeah, and oh, dude, the portions were great, and the 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 meat was like fresh cut for each it was sandwich. Real, and, um, what did they call it? They had a word for like you had it giant size, and that was the name of the place. You remember? Yeah, it was like. Uh, Monster, Monster Mon- Subs. Monster Subs, was that it? Yeah, yeah. something like that. Yeah. Because you could get it Monster style. That's right, and that's they, right. And they, yeah. were, they were not playing around, dude. This thing no. was, like, was not a sub, it was like a taco. Like the, the bread wouldn't close. It was like this and just meat and it just piled on. It was good, it was really good. <laughs> just meat just piled on. Yeah. So good. Dude, like you couldn't, I couldn't figure out how to dude, eat it. Yeah, I know, I saw your sandwich. So I got a, uh, what did you I had get? a Reuben. Yeah, I had a Reuben. Oh man, oh. Corned beef, rye, yeah. sauerkraut. <laughs> Get out of here. It's so good. <laughs> so shout out Monster Subs in Gulfport, Mississippi. That was awesome. Uh, after after Mississippi, we, we uh, fled the area and went to uh, Florida. Yeah, just outside of Destin in a place called... Uh, Fort Walton Beach. That's right. Thanks yep, for saving me We played at uh, Downtown Music Hall. Yeah, another cool gig. That, or, that was a cool venue. Yep. That green room was actually like really cool yeah, too. Yeah, you guys really took care of us. We were up in like an attic. And like yeah. had the whole like space to ourselves. It was real quiet. It was awesome. It's quiet because it had that thick concrete floor yep. above the venue, right? Yep. So, yeah, um, that's cool, man. Cool pizza place. Had like all sorts of food and and good sandwiches and all sorts of stuff. But uh, but of course it was like a music venue as well. They had some pretty big acts in there, and um, a nice stage. <laughs> Great sound crew helped us out. Coincidentally, we said uh, we were going to be talking about Seven Year Witch, our band of the week. Right. Um, they they had been there the day before us. Right. Right. So, uh, and they were there with I, uh, uh, Struggle Jennings. Struggle Jennings. That's yeah. right. He's a bigger artist. Yeah. So uh, that show was supposedly this thing keeps creeping on me. That was a, a well attended show and a, and a good show. From what I heard, from what everyone was saying. Yeah, no, that's what I'd heard. So it was it was a cool venue. I, I would yeah. love to go back there. And um, it was funny. They so they played there the night before us. And then they're they're actually going to be playing the juke joint like this weekend. Yeah, that's at, right. At the time of this recording, so yeah. So um, let's see. Oh, oh, one thing on the ride in, I remembered. I got to talk about it because I'm so upset we didn't get to go. We were driving from Biloxi to Gulfport, right? Or to to Florida? You mean? Yeah, to Florida. Fort Sorry, Beach, Dustin, yeah. Fort Walton, and we go through Mobile, Alabama, and uh-huh. then we get out to the water, and I look across and. There's the USS Alabama, just their big, beautiful 16-inch guns staring oh, at yeah. me. And I was like, you know, normally railroads give me this feeling that I'm feeling in my pants. Right. But I started getting it there. And then I saw, <laughs> I look over and I see, a, I see a B-52 and a B-29. Oh, that's right. And, the Air Force base is there. And I see uh, the, the USS Hood, the, or USS Drum, the submarine, and I'm just like, just torqued, man. So. Yeah. 
a lot of if you're cool in Mobile. stuff going on down there. And Fort Walton Beach has air base and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Um, cool stuff. I was telling my dad where, where we were going. He was like, oh, yeah, I flew in there many, many times. That's awesome. He was in the Air Force. So. Like, yeah. Have you heard of Fort Walton Beach? He's like, yes. <laughs> Your dad's like, I've been there a hundred times. <laughs> Knew about it before you were born, boy. Yeah. <laughs> True. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the show went well at Fort Walton Beach, though. And then and then we did the uh, the unthinkable, and we got straight in the van yes. and drove home. That's what I was saying. There was no last night. Ten hours or, or eleven hours. Nine by GPS, but it yeah, ends up being ten eleven. So we got in the van. You know, I don't know, midnight, a little after, after stops. Gas, you know, we're in a big van with a big trailer. We're driving pretty slow, dude. We got home at noon. <laughs> yeah, it was it was wild. You, uh, we got in the van probably closer to one one or one thirty. Yeah, it's always longer than you think. Man. Um, because of loadout and everything, and yeah, uh, we hit Atlanta traffic on the way back in the morning. Not a crazy amount, but enough. And Atlanta is right. wild for those of you who uh, know anything about Atlanta. Atlanta, uh, the it's like two, L.A. Two New worst York, traffic. Atlanta. Two worst traffic in the United States is L.A. followed by Atlanta. Oh, really? Yep. Even worse than New York, huh? Yep. Oh, wow. That's what I've heard. I don't know. I, yeah. I don't count the cars, but that's what I've heard. <laughs> well, that's... Uh, I try. I fail every time. I always lose count around 20. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I always count after two. <laughs> one. Yeah, whatever. Check one, two. <laughs> check one, two. Sound guy syndrome. It's How many uh, sound checks? Dude, I mean, we've we've gone through the ringer. So, uh, that was great. Had had the week off, you know, the week off for us is back to our, our mm-hmm. teaching jobs and getting stuff done outside of the band. And then we hit the road again. We played, uh, what, we played locally Thursday. Yeah. St. Patty's Day. Little cash shot in the arm. We played in kind of our hometown. Goliath lives there. It's Waxhaw, North Carolina. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And uh, big St. Pat's Festival. Really fun. And we yeah, were hired, it was wild. By, hired by a legitimate Irish bar. All the people that owned it were talking to us in thick Irish accents. <laughs> Dude, and the fish and chips were on point. I didn't have any, man. Oh, yeah. But I'm going to have some when we go overseas. Well, yeah, I, I want to start getting myself ready, you know. Right, right. Start right. just getting the taste for vinegar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I love vinegar on fries, dude. I love vinegar dude, in general. I love vinegar as well, dude. Uh, vinaigrette on uh, salads and, sure. and everything, man. Balsamic. I like oh. drinking it straight. Bro. Yeah, I just love just chugging Vin. You chug Vin? Dude, chug it all the time. Take shots, pour shot glass, drink the Vin down. How great would it be? Tell everyone you're pouring them a vodka shot, but it's vinegar. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> vodka that didn't quite make it. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's something wrong with vodka. I uh, forgot to tell you, that's apple, apple, apple cider vinegar. <laughs> Looks yeah. like dirty. <laughs> it's like vodka with like dirt in it. Yeah. You said extra dirty. <laughs> you said martini dirty. I just put some dirt in it. What did you mean? <laughs> Shit. Oh, man. That'd be me making drinks because I have no idea. Yeah. I'm like. I can do anything with tonic. Okay. You know, gin and tonic. Coke and tonic. Coke and tonic. <laughs> water and tonic. Can I get a water and tonic? <laughs> the bartender would look at you like... Can I get water on the rocks? You've clearly drank too much in your life. <laughs> can, I get a, can I get a tonic? Tonic and tonic? Mm-hmm. Here's my tonic. Yes. Oh, yeah. Today we're drinking um, some, some Bellevue. Some Food Lion brand? Yeah. What is this? Uh, this is a little bit higher quality than Food Lion. It's Aldi. It's a little bit higher quality than Food Lion. This is uh, founded on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> so by a company called Stepped On Soft Drinks. <laughs> <laughs> called no. Flat Soft no. Drinks. No, this, this is actually pretty good, and uh, I do love Food Lion. And I do wrong. love Food Lion as well. Um, I call it Flube, though. Flube? Flube. Ah, yeah. nice. Yep. Dude, uh, yeah. No, uh, Aldi, you know, because... Got three kids, so there you go. All these kids, <laughs> I got all these kids, man. That's why I shot with Aldi. <laughs> all right, so after uh, St. Pat's, let's talk about it. How'd you, how'd you, how'd you fare? Well, considering I'm the sound guy as well as playing, yeah, I hate, I hate, I feel so bad for you on this gigs because you have so much work to do. I, I have a lot, a lot of work every, every, year, but especially those ones. Um, yeah. I'm not able to actually like be in the gig when it's time to play because yeah, I'm know. just. What's going to go wrong? I hate, I hate running our own sound. But and sometimes so, it's unavoidable, but we try to avoid it as much as we can. Yeah. Luckily, um, we can do it. We have the capabilities. It's just not as much fun. And when we know. do, you know, obviously the money, so the money makes up for it, you know, especially right. if we're hauling our own PA and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, uh, you know, it's, 
it's a lot it's a lot going on and then also you know even when we go to other venues and stuff from the guy talking to the sound guy making yeah. sure everything's patched you're and, the and tech whatnot. you're the tech uh, manager for sure oh f- oh yeah hands down um also the drum mic placer right. um <laughs> It's tantamount to monster in bed. But yeah. I can't wait. I can't wait to get to the story of these glasses. But That's all I'm gonna say. Foss is gonna be this like there we go. <laughs> inside inside jokes. Inside baseball. Yeah. So, anyways, what about your glasses? Oh, I can't wait to get to the point where we talk about these. Oh yeah, yeah. That's gonna that'll be fun. There's okay. nothing. It's not that big of a story, but it'll be fun. It it will be fun. And I. uh whatever reason can't remember where they came from so anyway. i remember okay good scandals 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 Fun yes B. you're right yes thank you virginia beach bro yeah okay we're two okay. things away from that yeah well yeah definitely so um thursday we uh do that pack up load out leave the trailer packed oh yeah eh, thanks <laughs> i got you you got you got me bro put me in so anyways coach. uh yeah um then we left what one Right around one the next day to get up to. Yes, uh, that was a fun gig though. We got to play a lot of covers. We got to stretch, stretch some time, uh, stretch our legs, have some fun. Yeah, and we'll be People doing that again into it. this weekend, which will have passed uh, as yes. after you listen to this. But yes. uh, yeah, so we're putting together kind of an interesting extended set to give us some more options. Exactly. Yeah, open up some more doors. Yes. But uh, anyways, uh, yeah, I mean. I didn't really have fun that gig because I'm I, I just trying yeah. to do a billion things. I had I always enjoy playing. I'm not right. saying like I didn't have a good time playing. It's just I couldn't really be in it enjoying it because yeah. you know people are trying to mix from the side and like away from the PA. Hey, stuff's not sounding right. right. Get in front of the fucking PA. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. You yeah. <laughs> can't mix from yeah. outfield. Exactly. You know, and and you're and, standing backstage. Why can't I hear the vocals? Dude, well, I only hear sub. Yeah. Yeah. Bass too loud. Well, because you can't describe to the average person what yeah. omnidirectional and is with yeah. subs and everything. Don't even so. worry about the word cardioid. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna their brain's gonna seize up. Their eyes are gonna cross faster. <laughs> I need another beer. I need another beer. <laughs> so, yeah. Again, it was St. Patrick's Day. So cardioid. That's a three syllable <laughs> banger. I can't even. I'm not even gonna try. But uh. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, it was it was interesting. It was uh, fun, so though. crowded, it was so bad because we have a massive man. trailer. So having to back in for that gig was uh, was wild. Because oh, uh, for, I, for I, everyone I, who doesn't know, I'm the backup boy with the oh, trailer. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> it's like I want to drive, but I, Daryl, I won, can you uh, back it up for us? Yeah. <laughs> I won a local of the day award because I uh, forgot my wardrobe. Yes, dude, I had it. I had it packed up. I, I went through all the stuff of like got my suitcase. Let me put my jacket in it. Let me make sure everything's here. Zip it up. Pull the handle up. Set it by the door. Walked right out the door and left it. <laughs> Didn't realize until I'm grabbing my guitar to bring it to the stage. Yeah. Because we're loading in. And I open up the back of my car. And as soon as it opens up, I see my guitar in my, in my backpack with all my rig stuff in it. And I thought, where's my wardrobe? Well, yeah, dude, I was changing when, when you had fa- found that out. I yeah. was changing the trailer. Yeah. You go to the trailer and come in. I'm in my boxes. You're like, dude, uh, off my wardrobe. You got anything extra? And I'm like, oh, dude, yeah. no, not Cause really. Because I was like, I'm, I know it's not in the yeah. trailer. I thought it might have been in the trailer, and then I realized we already o- unloaded the trailer. Yeah. So you're like, and, fuck, uh, got to go to Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> so you got to so go drove, to Walmart. Drove to Walmart, you know, five, six minutes down the road, realized it's a neighborhood market. It doesn't <laughs> say that neighborhood market's just the grocery part of Walmart, for those yeah. of you that don't know. Didn't say that on the on that on the GPS or anything, just as Walmart. So I'm like, oh sweet, we'll go get I'll get good like I don't know, some some vans, at least a pair of jeans. I'm not gonna go all out, but I could look better than I look. I was in just gym shorts or whatever. And crocs or something, or tennis shoes or something. Yeah. And um yeah, nope. Can't get that in neighborhood market. Looked around for some other clothing stores, nothing. So I was like, all right, well, we go back. Foz had like some uh trainers, some like sweatpants that I put on. Yeah, exactly. Which yeah. helped me, you know, at least I was wearing pants instead of shorts. And uh, pulled the hair down, and that's about the best you could do. So, it wasn't yeah, it wasn't works. ideal. I was wearing tennis shoes. Like, <laughs> looked dumb, man. But uh, we got through it. Yeah, that was. Definitely... It doesn't look dumb necessarily by itself. It just looks dumb in comparison to everyone else. Well, when I look as you badass know? as I do on stage, yeah, exactly. I mean, it's kind of you know, it's it's uh it's a comparison thing. Like, it's the same with the stage presence. Like, it doesn't look bad to chill out. It looks bad to chill out when everyone else is going really hard. That's when it looks bad. 
yeah. or, or vice versa. It looks hard to go super hard when everyone else is just kind of chilling. You know, you got to have that cohesion across the board. Yeah. Which is something that Seven Year Witch does an amazing job of. What's that? You said a really long word there. Cohesion. Co. co- okay, I gotcha. Yeah. These are cohesion. Another three syllable banger. Yeah. Sorry, I have trouble with those ones. Yeah, I have trouble with the, with the word. I just have trouble in general. Um, yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> where's Where's my button? Here it is. Hey, there it is. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we got through St. Pat's. Thankfully, we love the hometown shows. We got to crash in our own bed, stay in our own home. Right. Got up the next morning, hit the road, Greensboro, North Carolina. We coming at you. Oh, big shout out to Connie who saved our asses because all our mic stands were up at the studio in Charlotte. Yep. So, Ballantine School of Music, Connie, you are a lifesaver. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, she came in uh, at the buzzer with some mic stands for us. Although, my mic stand was garbage. <laughs> Dude, I don't know what it was with this mic stand. This thing, like, I. Every time I went to sing, it was pointing down at the ground. Like, the mic had just completely. Yeah, fallen. it just needed mic stand Viagra. <laughs> it's just like, dude. Like, uh, I go to sing my part in Purple Rain, and I'm like, you know, ready in the you're moment, like, and it's pointing towards the ground. Like, purple Rain. Yeah, exactly. Purple. <laughs> exactly. And, uh, oh, man, like, it was killing me. Uh, it kept, it just, it, anything I needed, it would spin, like, it was, anything I needed, it was just going to do the opposite. Now, now, how hilarious would it be if it was just, like, listing slowly down, you're just like, Purple Rain, per- fucking mic stand, just, like, in the middle of a goddamn song, just That's pretty much what I did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess you just hopefully couldn't hear me. Uh, I never was- wanted to be a weekend <laughs> fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you would just hear, never wanted to be <laughs> What happened to the singer? You look over the mic's just like pointing at my shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I was losing my mind with it. And anyway. Uh, cool. Short, short story long. We won't forget our mic stands anymore. <coughs> it's a long mic story. We uh, Greensboro. Yeah, Greensboro. Blind Tiger. Uh, one of our favorite venues. One of our favorite places. We played there more than anywhere else. We love the crew there. We love everyone. And um, they always take really good care of us. So we played there with uh, Seven Year Witch. And a band called Shaky Deville, and wasn't there yeah. one other? Uh, or is it just the three of us? It's just the three of us. Uh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, there was there was one. Oh no, that was that was yeah, Saturday. that was scandals. So yeah, so uh, just Shaky Deville, Seven Year Witch, and us. Shaky Deville was cool. It's I liked cool, Shaky Deville. Cool riffs, you know, yeah, yeah, really good band. And uh, they brought the thunder, kind of like a like a like a swaggy country rock, southern rock kind of vibe. Yeah, like yeah, good, good, like. Guns N' Roses style riffs and stuff. Definitely. And uh, that was cool to watch. Uh, Seven Year Witch played. They brought it. It was fun hanging out with those guys. Um, we've played with them a few times before, and it's always always a good time hanging out. Dude, every time we're like hanging out and talking, I mean, we're probably laughing like 80, 90% of the time. It's yeah. just our, senses, our sense of humor is just yeah. go hand in hand. And uh, yeah, but they're also like really cool guys you know we're bouncing ideas off of each other and whatnot you know yeah you sing asking them how they do things you know yeah yeah and um so man but yeah so greenville back to that Uh, anything else about it greensboro yeah greenville's at the coast um no i think that one went pretty well i don't remember anything crazy going yeah so we pull up to the venue and and seven year witch was already there we pull right up and uh, yeah, pop my I pop my head out of the door because I had driven in, just so I'm standing on the passenger side, looking over the door, and I look straight at the guys in Seven Year Witch. I'm like, how bitter? <laughs> they're like, what? I'm like, yeah, how bitter? And so most of the most of the guys have started laughing at this point, but their lead singer Aaron was like. Uh, I don't get it. <laughs> Seth's like, like really laughing. He's just, or sorry, not Seth. Um, yeah, it was Seth, I think. <laughs> and he says to Aaron, their lead singer's like, dude, the new song, like our new song, Cyanide. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they said, uh, they, by the way, but I got there before you guys and was talking to him a little bit. And um, they said, uh, like, a really genuine thank you to me for doing the uh, reaction we did for there. Oh, they, awesome. Yeah. So they, they, they liked that. I was like, man, we just like you guys, so like, don't thank us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no they I said really they dig them. The studio too. I was like, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, you know, again, if y'all are listening, when you come through, invitations open. Love to have you guys in. So. Standing invitation. Yeah, standing. Yeah, open, we, open we, invitation. We are gonna have some um, some guests, and and they will definitely be on here at some point. Yeah. Swapping road, road stories. 
Yeah. I almost said road beef. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> That's not what I meant to say at all. That's what I say. Stay away from. You gotta yeah. stay, away from well, stay away from road puss, Avoid dude. the road beef. <laughs> That always gets people what, laughing. Like, what do we say? Trolling for? <laughs> that, that's a podcast exclusive merch right there. Yeah, right. Trolling for road beef. <laughs> God, just a picture of a troll. Picture of a beaver. Yeah, <laughs> trolling a beaver, dude. That's amazing because you'd never think about saying no. the two each. Yeah, no. that's a. Yeah. Honestly, that's a killer merch idea. Yeah. Trolling for road beef. <laughs> Which, by the way, is something that none of, or at least you and I, definitely don't do ever. No, so. no, exactly. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, it's just such a fact, funny turn of phrase, dude. Yeah. I told, I texted Foz. Foz was texting me something. He was up in the, I was way in the back sleeping. He was up with you. You were driving, and I texted him. I was like, ask, uh, ask Driz if he's trolled any road beef. <laughs> you texted him. Foz turns around, looks at me like, what does that mean? Like, and I was like, just do it. <laughs> and then he asked you, and you just started laughing. <laughs> <sighs> The inside jokes. Yes. They're hilarious. They never end. Yeah. But, uh, There's always new ones, too. <laughs> yeah. Always. Never uh, never a dull moment when you're in uh, a van with five guys. And delirious from lack of sleep. And yeah. Living your dreams. Living your dreams. <laughs> yeah. And trolling for beef. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, so uh, was, road beef was, as- or troll trolling for road beef aside, yeah, um, we uh, rolled on after Blind Tiger. Uh, we did spend the night in Greensboro. Mm-hmm. Yep, and then we rolled on the next day up to Scandals. Yeah, Scandals in Virginia Beach. Shout out to Dan. He owns Scandals. Uh, always takes amazing care of us. We love that guy. Love the whole crew there. Oh, I got Great a fun venue. story f- that night though. Before we drove though, I, I got I got to squeeze okay. this in. Okay. Yeah, so I was I decided to stay in the van. I got this new air mattress the small air mattress and i was like i don't want to hear snoring i don't want to be around anyone i'm just gonna stay in the van right it'll also be a good deterrent in case anyone you know we don't know the area in case anyone tries to like break into our van or trailer or anything like that you know because you see it's like oh that's probably van uh band van and trailer there might be guitars or amps in there you know so anyways as a no amps though no amps (laughs) they would be very wrong they go oh no amps no real amps not stealing anything (laughs) these guys suck these guys must suck yeah exactly analog or nothing (laughs) these guys blow like a like a thief who's trying to get his fix from some you're like it's gonna be like picky about analog or digital yeah so anyways um yeah it, it was about two in the morning i'm laying down on my awesome new air mattress that just makes sleeping in the van just a dream um and it's also a single so that I, you know, I don't have to share it with anyone because you can't. It fits out, fits right? the whole back. And back it fits thing. the whole, yeah. oh, it's just, it was, it was awesome. Well, I woke up at like two in the morning because I had horrible heartburn. I'd had two burritos from Sheets that day with jalapenos oh, and, uh, and all that kind of. did too. Yeah. So anyways, I woke up and, and I don't get heartburn very often, but when I get it, it sucks. It's pretty bad. So I, I get I up. Tom's in my car. Should have texted me. I didn't even know, dude. Didn't even know. So anyways, I decided to go to the lobby of the hotel. <laughs> so I come in and they're like, uh, are you staying with us? I was like, well, yeah, technically my bandmates are in the rooms, but I'm sleeping in the van. She's like, okay, well, I guess you could come in. I was like, hey, do you have any Tums or any antacid, anything? Previs said, I don't care. Uh, I'll, and I've got cash. I'll buy it from you. She was like, no, we don't have anything like that. I was like, fuck. All right. Um, so I'm like on my phone looking for 24 hour gas stations that I could walk to. None in the area. And so I decide to go across the street to another hotel lobby, ask the chick there. I was like, hey, do you have any Tums, Prevacid? And I said, I don't care, just anything. She's like, yeah, we've got some in a vending machine on the second floor. Uh, Do you have any ones? I was like, no, but I've got uh, 10. So she was just like, well, give me the change. I went up there, nothing. Nice. So now you have 10 ones and nothing. So now I have five ones and (laughs) and a five. And And I've got horrible heartburn still. So she's like, oh, you should go to Drury Inn across the street. And I'm like, okay, all right, thanks. You know, go to Drury Inn. <laughs> they wouldn't even let me in the lobby. Really? <laughs> you know, see this, like, <laughs> you know, scantily clad. No, I'm in shorts, flip flops, and a shirt with a ponytail that right. looks all yeah, raggedy looking, and a hat. You're looking like a yeah. <laughs> a beard. You know, they're just yeah. like, fuck this Get guy. This guy out of here. He's not <laughs> coming into Drury, yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, anyways, because um, I I called with that that phone, they're like, no, you can't come in. Like, so, and we don't have that. 
So I finally walk to the fourth hotel. Mm-hmm. Walk in, and this one is kind of not a nicer hotel. So I'm thinking, like, I'm fucked. They're not going to have anything, but I, I got to try something because this sucks. So, anyways, um, the dude there was like, uh, no, I, no, I don't, I don't have any uh, tums, but I got some personal stuff. And uh, I was just like, dude, if you would sell that to me, like, please. Like, I just need something. And so, anyways, uh, he sold me uh, Pepto-Bismols, and it worked. I ate, like, three of those bitches, dude. And I go back to the van, and by the time I got... So, again, I went out at 2. By the time I got back to the van, it was, like, 2.47 a.m. Mm-hmm. Jeez. So, you're just on, like, a quest. Dude, Hey, I at was... what point did you ride on my car? <laughs> Was that then? That was the morning time. I went, I got the continental breakfast. It uh-huh. was uh, very incontinent. Maybe very, very incontinent. Very incontinent, you know? yeah. Yeah. Um, and so, oh, they had the waffle maker. Right. Mm. I always love when I never get the hotel breakfast. Yeah. Not because I have anything against it. I just, I just don't. Yeah. But so anyways, I'm walking back. I'm like, oh, that's Dallas's car. <laughs> oh, there's dust on the back windshield. I can't not pass up this perfect opportunity <laughs> to write something awesome. Yeah. So I had to drive with that. I didn't notice until I was packing up that it said, I love penis. Which is fine. I don't care. It's funny. But uh, I didn't, I saw it and I was like, ah, whatever. We're driving with that now. Yeah. Dude, why is my nose so itchy today? I don't know. I don't know. Must be all that cocaine. I told you to stop messing around with it. Actually, I actually am. Uh, with road beef. <laughs> I did bring a little bit of that sickness home, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, that sickness. Goliath had it, you had it, I have it now. Yeah. It's not fun. No, no. It, that was nasty little cold. Yep. Yeah. But um That's what's going on, and I gotta sing this weekend. Oh yeah. That's right. Singing Prince and your your voice is just cracking. And I'm just like <laughs> You know. People are like, This guy's not that well, good. Well, I'll be singing background vocals, so I'll be singing, you know, oh, with you, you know. <laughs> what if it's perfect harmonized yodeling, dude? Yeah. With any luck, it will be. Yeah. With any luck, <laughs> I think our harmonies will be on. With any luck, <laughs> it's like, well, you didn't practice. <laughs> uh, we're pretty sure it'll work. Luckily, you know. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, amazing Tom story. Love it. Should have just like texted me or something. I have them right in my car. They were literally two two feet away from you for free. Well, um, now you know. Joke's on me. <laughs> and, uh, oh, yeah, but we got in the van the next morning, drove to Virginia Beach. Scandals. Anyway, I was shouting out Dan. Great crew. Great venue. We love that place. Taco. What's up, Taco? Van, uh, Dan and Taco. Almost said van. Yeah. Got in the van to see Dan. They're brothers, but they're not. Well, it's kind of one or the other. You don't get. I don't know. There's no gray area there, I don't think. It's very gray. I guess half brother. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe Sorry. they're just best friends and they said they're brothers. <laughs> you know? Could be. Yeah. yeah. People I've think heard. we're brothers all the time. I know, dude. Yeah. It's pretty funny. In fact, there was that, that really cool picture from uh, um, Huntsville, Alabama with Tiger that's kind of like yes. faded. And he's just like, oh, that's a really cool picture of you. And I'm like, that that's Dallas. Uh. That's a Les Paul. <laughs> yeah. That's not my guitar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, where I'm kind of like, where it's like hard to just, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, exactly. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. Yep. That's cool though. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, we do get that from time to time though. I've heard that. I don't know that I've gotten that directly, but and yes, we are brothers. So there you go. Yep. Yep. We are three sets of brothers in the band. Figure that one out. How, How are, are there three sets of brothers but only five people? Just watch him just deteriorate into madness <laughs> here. <laughs> He's done. Down for the count. Hey, speaking of this trucker hat, it reminds me that we have trucker hats on our website. If you go to lamaybe.com slash store, you can also sport a dope trucker hat like Mr. Draws over here. What up, Ka? This one doesn't have our band name on it, though, because I am rather narcissistic, and I'm going to put my stage name on the back of this hat. So That's going to um, be awesome. Yeah. I do dig that hat. Let's talk about scandals, and then we'll bid adieu to the, uh, the regular casual listeners. The casual listeners, yeah. Yep. All right, scandals. So what about uh, it? man? It was a fun gig. We had a, a good crowd. They were lively bunch, all up in our grill the whole time. And uh, we uh, we so seven year which opened for us at Blind Tiger. We opened up for them at, at Scandals, kind of doing the old switcheroo. And um, yeah, it was really fun, man. I, I I like Scandals a lot. 
Yeah. They have that kind of catwalk that goes around the stage where you can get up and dance around and have some fun. And the sound in there, it's not a massive room, but the sound in there is very good. And right. I I had to, you know, give my give my praise to to the guys there because, you know, they're like, oh, it's not much, you know. And they have sure, some good stuff in they there, They have dude. great stuff. And the sound in there is honestly, the sound in there is really good. Yeah. Um, And it's fun. The lighting is amazing. They do it right for you, too. Yeah. They, they give you, like a show like because they'll do lights and they'll run it good and it goes crazy when you're going crazy and it chills out when it's just it's nice yeah it's just a really fun place uh i can't wait to be back there personally just you know i like the guys i like working with the folks there and good crew it's a fun it's a fun fun place always take care you got us all pizza yeah oh and these uh these shades tell us the story I don't know the story, but I, I thought you knew the story. No, I just no one knows the story. I, I know that they're from there, and they're like, "Oh, these guys." We just we just went in the green room, and there was a pile of sunglasses and a pile of bandanas, and all Jägermeister. So we all grabbed a bunch of them. What I what I bet it was what I bet it was was the bar there <laughs> probably got like stuff for you know from Jägermeister for purchasing yeah, yeah per- promotional stuff. So oh, I caught you drinking water. Caught me uh, with my pants yeah, down. Just drink some. A little payback. Oh, here's more. Yep. Oh yeah. And uh, anyway, the bandana was super awesome. Yeah, it's really like orange cool. Orange and black and stuff. It's anyway. I wore it that night. Perfect for Halloween. And yeah. I thought I'd wear these today for you guys. You have a little rainbow on the side here. Driz, you help me out. There we go. I was staring at it, <laughs> so I forgot about switching. You're like got the rainbow on the side. You're like doing you're it like, for the camera. I'm just you're like, like, yeah, it is. Uh, that's great. Tell me more about the rainbow. <laughs> It's funny, actually. Most of my sunglasses are are free promotional alcoholic sunglasses. That's right. You Remember think my Tito's ones? <laughs> yeah, I had Tito's sunglasses. I had like three pair. I've had I had them for like four years. Finally, the last one broke. I and bought a new like gas station pair. I had those for a month. Now I have these. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so free alcohol. Back to the free alcohol yeah. glasses. So uh, I can keep seeing my future because if I take them off, it's way it's too, too bright. bright. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. Thanks so much for being here with us. We're going to head on over to the VIP section of the podcast. And uh, oh, double, switching? Double trying to there. switch this button. It's just screwing me. There we go. All right, you guys. Ta ta. Peace. Say goodbye, Donald. Wow. <laughs> hey, everybody. Thank you so much for watching the latest episode of your new favorite band. This is the end of the free content. But if you want to unlock the full, uncut versions of every episode, head over to lamaybe.com slash VIP and sign up for our membership. For $7 a month, you'll get extended episodes of our podcast, a bonus episode every month, plus exclusive merch. You'll also be supporting us and helping us continue to stay on the road and make new music. And for that, we're eternally grateful. So thank you.